What's up guys, Shows and 82 g here and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K16 Universe Mode! We are here on Smackdown tonight. And Smackdown has a bit of, has a bit of a King of the Ring feeling to it. Because tonight we're going to have not one, not two, but three King of the Ring qualified matches. And you are seeing two of them on the screen. Kaliso versus Kofi Kingston. And our main event tonight, Cesaro versus Roman Reigns. That's right. There's going to be one big name that will not be in the King of the Ring tournament. And also, the former Intercontinental Champion, Daniel Bryan, is in action against a red hot bad news bat. After Daniel Bryan controversially lost the Intercontinental title at Money Over Bank. As Mark Henry got for one, two, three pinfall, but Daniel Bryan's hand was on the rope, but the referee didn't see it. So there's a lot of drama surrounding the Intercontinental Championship right now. And we're going to start with another King of the Ring qualifying match. Somebody looks fired up and ready to go here on Independence Day. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Cole, and to my left, the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And I want to tell you something, Michael. This might well be one of the most highly anticipated nights of the entire year. You said it, Michael. We're starting things off strong tonight. Nicely executed. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. You know, the moves that Bray Wyatt has at his disposal are vicious. One is more severe than the next. Let's face it, his throw suplex, clotheslines, cross body, the avalanche, and running senton can put anyone away. Oh, yeah, and seeing that spider walk, that'll give you nightmares for months. 
Talk to us about Keith Slater. A ton of talent, a ton of ability. Certainly someone to keep an eye on. A kick to the gut. That'll double you over. It appears that part of the game plan heading into this match was to attack the back. Well, we're on the move here. Ow! At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Oh! Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. When you see what Bray Wyatt suplexes, clotheslines, cross body, and running sentons do to an opponent, it's incredible. After Bray Wyatt avalanches an opponent, you can actually see the unhinged look in his eyes. It's like he becomes filled with a twisted joy over other people's pain. Look at it this way. Wyatt is just so sneaky. Yeah, Wyatt is so dangerous on so many different levels. Once the bat goes, it's nearly impossible to stand, let alone deliver any offense. Not today, too fast. Oh, wow. I'm sure this will not come as a surprise, but very, very little is known about the personal life of Bray Wyatt. We know he has his family members around him, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, but beyond that, and his finishing moves name, Sister Abigail, named after his sister who passed away, Bray Wyatt's not someone I'd describe as an open book. Quick thinking to avoid that. Bray Wyatt spots the opening. The shoulders are down! Bizarre Bray Wyatt starting to go in for the kill. And now Bray Wyatt could have this match in the bag. Looking to catch him off guard. Quick ref count. Watch it. Ooh. My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here. The sweetness! The sweetness! You're never the same after the sweetness. Two. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. Whoa! Whoa! King, we spoke about Bray Wyatt, and it's not every day a superstar enters W. Oh, lights out! No love lost between these two. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. That's gotta hurt. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. Bray Wyatt emerged in WWE in the summer of two... Look out! On the table, what destruction. With absolutely no care for their own well-being, that announcer's table has been completely annihilated. Good grief. That thing looks like a pile of sawdust at a lumberyard. Oh, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. Attacking from the top. Look out below! Look out! Michael, when it comes, will this be enough? Hang on!
There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Man, he Slater is wrecking his opponent right now. Not today, too fast. He Slater gets out of that one. Nice move, Slater. He's simply reminding him that he's here. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. We're looking at complete domination here. Ray Wyatt's going to finish him right here, right now. Uh, it doesn't look good for Ray Wyatt's opponent. Look away, Michael. This could be ugly. Looking for all the glory here. has taken so much out of this guy he's not going to give up but man this has been physical Ray Wyatt with Sister Abigail there's not a more effective finishing move in all WWE you're right about that Michael I don't know if I've ever seen anyone kick out after seeing a win man he's got to feel great let's see what happened during that incredible matchup Sports Entertainment, check out what happened during this match. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. exactly happened during this one.
Whether you're a total or true diva, any opponent of Brie Bella knows they're getting ready to dance with one of WWE's most fierce competitors. Brie's determination comes from within, and we see it in a little something called Brie Mode. Textbook offense here. Brie Bella is conjuring up some good momentum here. Whoa, that was some reversal by Tamina. Brie Bella's athleticism, high-flying abilities, and submission holds make her a threat to any diva in WWE. Brie's of Italian and Latin heritage, so you can bet that when she gets fired up, oh, watch out. I wouldn't want to be her an opponent for any amount of money at that point. Tell us about Tamina. Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of the attack up to this point. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. I think I saw a two fly out. Quick thinking to avoid that. A textbook maneuver there. You know, Cole, Brie Bella's agility, her technical ability, and fearless flying has made her one of the most respected divas in the ring. When that bell rings, it's on. Not today, too fast. a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. Tamina seems helpless. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk, and she goes for the quick pin. And she raises her shoulder to interrupt the referee's count. She sure did. Tamina is one tough cookie, that's for sure. Brie Bella is pure energy. The former Divas champion is one of the most influential Divas in and out of the ring that WWE has ever had. Brie comes to the ring with an immeasurable emotion and a determination to be the best Diva in WWE. Well, we've talked about Brie mode, not just because it's a roar from the crowd before a missile dropkick, but a mindset that means Brie Bella's going all out, whether it's in the ring or for a night on the town with their total Divas castmates. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. And this heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. If there's one thing Brie Bella has, here's the cover. And she kicks out. Man, she's not just beautiful, she's tough, too. Oh, Brie wants to win this one bad. You gotta love this match. It's got more curves than a racetrack. You're right. Look at all those curves. And me with no brakes. When she gets in attack mode, look out. You have to wonder just how widespread the back pain is. We'll find out soon enough. No kidding. This is bad. It's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. To make it simple for everyone, Brie Bella is a tremendous competitor. The former Divas Champion and 2013 Diva of the Year is without question one of the best Divas WWE has. Oh, and boy, do I love that. Beautiful and deadly. There's the Bella Buster to end this thing. Oh, I hate for any match with the Bellas to be over. Two. And the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. Tamina refusing to back down. She wants to win. And he's starting to make a statement. Oh, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. It's matches like this one that make Divas matches can't miss television. 
Brie Bella has one of the quickest finishing moves in WWE. The Bella Buster makes opponents eat the canvas and takes them down for the one, two, three, all at the same time. Brie's made sure she can knock out any diva with that finishing move. And what a reversal from Brie Bella. Look out! There's not a lot of cushion for your face. As you can see, everything hurts. No kidding, that's hurting me. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to take on too much more damage here. What an arm drag. Oh man, he threw him almost across the ring. This match has taken so much out of her. Oh man, from the high rim district. I wouldn't know what that's like. We're looking at complete domination here. I don't know how much longer she's going to be able to go. Look at this. Could it be? Missile drop kick. Man, that was devastating. Some damage has been dished out, but certainly not enough to assume this one's even close to being over. Here comes Brie Bella. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Brie Bella. Now that's a finishing move, people. Oh, she does it again. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Quick thinking to avoid that. Whoa, that was some reversal by Tamina. Seeing attacks to the back of the head reminds me how thankful I am to be sitting right here. Yeah, I wish I were as thankful. Oh, no. We know what this is. There's no recovery from that. One. what we saw in that match. Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. of the year. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. to be happy with that win. When it comes to impressive divas, this diva might just top the list. Wow, I'm still in awe over that great divas match, but we must move on, guys.
superstars look geared up and ready to go. Wow! Did you hear the crowd watch his music played? SmackDown crowd can't wait for this one to get started, and I must admit, I'm in the same boat. Here comes the leader of the Putin squad. Kofi's ready to go tonight, that's for sure. Look out for trouble in paradise. It looks like a visit to the chiropractor's office will be in order after this one. What's your analysis of Kalisto? Kofi's one of the most dynamic athletes in WWE. His athleticism knows no bounds, and neither does his vertical leap. Kingston's sonic boom type of offense is so amazing that he's been given the nickname the Wildcat. And we all know Wildcats are fearless. What hasn't been said already? Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. And the strike connects. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Well, we get to see a lot of amazing things from where we sit. And believe me, when I say there is nothing like seeing Kofi Kingston's athleticism in the ring. Everyone loves it. Well, everyone except Kofi's opponents. Oh, out of nowhere. Clearly on a mission here. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Kalisto. Just making his presence felt there. He's got him hooked. Oh my goodness, what a Frankensteiner. Not today, too fast. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Kalisto. Man, Kalisto, what offense. You know, Cole, I'd love to sit here and describe Kalisto's amazing offense, but I don't think my words can do them justice. They really have to be seen to be believed. Kalisto taking advantage right now. There's the scissor kick, Frankensteiner. What an athletic move. Oh, I love Frankenstein. He was my all-time favorite monster until I met you. Another electric crowd on hand here for SmackDown, as has been the... Hey, the shoulders are down! And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Well, that's the guts of this young man, Kofi Kingston. And my goodness, this guy will just not quit. Like you, King, I have to remind myself to call the action when Kalisto's in the ring, rather than sit back and watch and complete. Wow, what a move from Kalisto. That's how you make this crowd stand on its feet. He goes to the quick pin attempt. Count ready. And he escapes with a kick out. Wow. Kofi definitely showed up here today. Cole, what 
to get in mine. This might not end well. We've seen plenty of fireworks thus far tonight on this Independence Day edition of WWE programming. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Yeah, charge! Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. There's a term that's become popular to describe Kofi in the ring. High-octane offense. I mean, Kofi rocks his opponents with the boom drop, tornado DDT, slingshot plancha, missile drop kick, his control frenzy dive, springboard crossbody, and a flying crossbody that sees Kofi fly close to 20 feet in the air. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Get him back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. Whoa, whoa! Like you, King, I have to remind myself to call the action when Kalisto's in. Is he really going to... Look at this! Oh, it's a long way down! Oh! Awesome. Awesome. Two! Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. The neck has taken so much punishment in this match. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricade, and all can be used to cause massive damage. Look at to catch him off guard. Quick rest count. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime. And leave you some change. And Kalisto, what offense. Oh, man. How do you stand after an attack like this? For the WWE superstar that is standing across the ring from Kofi Kingston, the strategy they will need to employ is to keep Kofi on the ground. If Kofi is able to take flight, the match will be over, and it could be over in record time. Oh, you're right, Cole. A superstar will have to keep Kofi Kingston on the mat. Whether they have to wear him down with power moves or grapples, or center their attack on his legs, if Kofi can get rolling with that explosive offense of his, he has a chance. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. The strategy to keep Kofi Kingston out of the air is one that will be difficult to carry out, but essential for opponents. Kofi has the type of offense where even a split second can give him enough time to perform an incredible maneuver that can bring him victory. Shoulders down, is it enough? This may be it. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Dishing out some serious punishment here. The toll from this match is really starting to show. Kingston gains momentum in this match. Michael, a WWE superstar must know Kofi Kingston's scouting report by this point. An opponent has to keep Kofi out of the air and away from these high-risk yet high-powered assaults because Kofi lands them almost every time. To keep Kofi out of the air is to keep you in the match. When this guy's on, look out. I hope everybody enjoyed their picnics earlier today. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and close out this Independence Day with some WWE action. Man, talk about putting a target on someone's back. Good grief! How is he still conscious? Boom drop! He could pin his opponent right here. I think this is it. Two. 
With the name Kobe Kings, he did it. What a huge win. We may be looking at the match of the year. exactly happened during this one. There was no love lost in that match. And look at the impact in these highlights. Kingston wins here in impressive fashion. You have to imagine Kalisto isn't pleased with this performance here tonight. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.